birthday girl over here to my right. Happy birthday to you, Yana. Bust it! <laughs> Yo, one of the craziest things about Los Angeles. I mean, Atlanta has nasty traffic as well, but Atlanta has a lot of different ways that you can deviate from the traffic. In Los Angeles, you can't. The way they build the roads out here, if you don't know, they messed up the road. They didn't expect for California to blow up the way it did. You got over 10 plus million people. Don't quote me on that, because it could be more, that lives in this darn state. So if you've never been out here, California, LA preferably, it's like New York City's traffic and Atlanta traffic combined together. Right now, it's pretty good. I'm, I'm, I can't complain. But sometimes, you know, that's just luck. That's just luck. So if you were planning to come out to LA, just be ready for the traffic. So, one thing you need to remember when traveling, pack a bag lunch, bring some water, bring a, a DVD, a CD, bring stuff so you don't get frustrated. That is one of, that's one of the keys to traveling in the LA area. Don't be in a rush to get to your destination, right? Mm -hmm. That's true, that's true, don't be in a hurry. Oh, and, and make sure you leave a little earlier. If you gotta get someplace by, let's say you have to get there at 12 o'clock p.m., make sure that you are on that road and you know you're an hour away, don't leave at 11. Leave at like 9.30 or 10 o'clock. That way you don't have no stress. That applies to every part of the world though. Yeah. Yeah, so Yana's right. But more so in LA. Yes. It's crazy. And I'll have you stressed out. So to avoid the road rage, just be prepared. Leave earlier, have other things to do. Make sure kids are in a calm state. Yeah, and if you're on a motorcycle, because out here, people really do not pay attention. They don't pay attention. And the speed limit out here is faster than most places. You can speed out here and go fast. So people do a lot of cutouts. They don't They don't really watch you. You forgot about, I don't know if it's considered a plus or a minus, but you can literally ride in between the lanes. Yeah. Which and was which was something that we had to adjust to, see motorcycles riding between cars. like. That's illegal in New York, but they could do it in LA, right? Yeah, I did it when I lived when, when we lived out here in California. So that's a fun little tidbit to know. I'm not sure what other states allow that, but that was definitely a um, a surprise, an adjustment that we had to make. And you have to be very careful when um, driving because you have to be cognizant that the motorcyclist can ride in those lanes, and then when you're crossing over, you can definitely take somebody out. So. You definitely have to be more alert as a rider in LA. I mean, you have to be more alert as a rider anywhere, but really, really alert in LA because these lanes, they can cross over and, and take you down, take you out, right? Yeah. In one and a half miles, take exit 17 toward Florence Avenue. Here, but I don't know what I'm looking for. It, it... Hold on, hold on. So let me see what I'm looking at. Hold on, hold on. So I'm looking at, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm looking at 164 Florence Ave, and it says Beverly Tires or something like that. All right, beautiful. I'm gonna walk in the back. All right, later. All right, guys. So we're about to go in the back. So we did pass it. We had a little time. It's like you know. Little, it's like in the back, in the back, back. So now we got it. Where'd you say, bro? Yeah, here we go. Yeah, boy, just right here. You threw all the powder coat. All right, 
right, so the powder coating happens right here. So, hey, hey hold on, hold on a second. For all y'all, for all y'all thinking that these bars are painted, understand they are powder coated. There's a difference in painted. You do it at your house where you just spray paint from Home Depot, and this is powder coated, yeah, yeah. long lasting, protective. Get to 500 degrees. You turn it on here. Yeah. And these numbers come in. See the numbers there, and they start climbing. Mm. It goes up, it goes up, it goes up, it goes up. Dirt's turning red. Yeah. Red hot. Yeah, yeah. 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 Close the door. Lock it down. And then it starts clamming up mm. the oven mm. to 385. That means it's 400 degrees inside the box. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Now from there, we go over here. Come on in here. Open the tour. Pine lines goes on top of tow trucks, right? This is a new thing that we started now. Okay. Right to right there. Yes, sir. These go on the top of the tow truck. Right to Watch your head. Watch your head. See the jig up the yes, top? Sir. Yes, sir. That's the jig. Yes, sir. Oh, this is the jig right here. That's the jig. You push that through. Yeah, push it through. This is the pine line. The pine lines go here. Go out of my box. I'm about into my machine. See that? That rolls it. Mm. This holds it. This holds it right here. Yes, Hold sir. it in place so it don't flip flop. Yeah. This is the jig. Then from there, take it back out, put it back down. And then you do two of them. And they call them pylon. Now, come back here. This is the dance off. Cuts everything for us. This is a bandsaw. Now let me plug it up. Now this machine right here is a serious buffer. It buffs all the machines. Let me show you. Uh, let me let me turn it on for you right quick. Oh. Now me, this is a buffer, a professional buffer. Now watch this. This one, a 15 inch off. Yeah. You see that? You see that? Yeah. Then you come over here. Come over here. This machine will wrap you up and won't stop. It breaks every bone in your body. It's not going to stop at all. Now you come over here to the lake. Come over here to the lake. This is the lake. Turn the lake on and you make all the tops. This is the tops right here. Now, this is the drums. Mm. This is the handlebars. Mm. You got me? I got you. This is the handlebars. Now, this is the same board. It is this. Hey, bro, you see a box? Yeah. See this? This, this is this. So this this bar this right here, bar, this bar right here, same bar as that one. Yes. So you see so you be, reduce it. I call them my drums. Mm. You see that? So what we do with this, we take this to a big old oven bigger than a house, and they shrink it to one inch. Mm. So your handles, your grips, and everything go here. Mm -hmm. This is this bar here is this. Wow. One more time. This is it. Yes. I understand me. Y'all see the difference on that? Can, this you, can you see it? This is this. So this, so this machine right here. This machine right here is, is what does that? No, it cuts it. No, it cuts it. it. Yes. Woo! I'm like a, like a big baby in a candy store. Come on, guys. Remember Handlebar Lee. You gotta look him up. Handlebar Lee. 
You gotta support your peoples. You feel me? Support, 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 support. Stand back from Rock Yeah. I'm with Oh, you are? Oh, yeah. All right, we finna make some fun. Okay, let me go to the next step. Fire, man, fire. Let me go over here to the to the mill. The light. Stick it in. Stick it in. Like you doing the hoochie coochie. Stick yeah, it in. That's what she said. <laughs> And you stick it in. <laughs> and you make sure you tighten it down. Oh yeah. Okay? Alright. Alright. So what we do now, we clamp it down. Now we're gonna change it to one another drill. What this do is, this is for your sensors. Without this machine right here, drilling it, your bike is not gonna start up. Mm. Period. Mm. So what I do, I take this drill out. This drill right here. Take it out. Put this drill in. Put this drill in. This is chaser. Mm -hmm. You know how people be having the chasers, man? Yeah, yeah. It's the same thing. Same thing. Put Go. this up here, and you tighten it down. I'm gonna turn it on. Now, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna drill holes all the way through this pipe. So put the sensors all the way down. And then what we do, we come back here, and we turn it on. Do you see it? Yes, sir. They have all different types of speeds. That goes in here first. It's like a chaser. And then you come back with another chaser. It's like the gorilla. Line. So all these things that you have to have to make a correct bar. If you don't have that, you're not going to make a bar. Now from there, we jump to the to the mill. This is the mill. Say you want to cut this style right here. This is what this mill do here. You tighten it down. I have machines. Can't do nothing without machines. Okay? You heard the man say you can't do nothing without machines. You gotta have the right equipment. The right equipment. Take it. It's just like three axes. This way to the right. One time. To the left. Right to the left, to the left, to the right. Right, 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 left, left, left. Okay? Left, 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 right, right, right. Now, it's the three axes. Now watch this. Go this way. Mm, okay. Go this way. You see that? Yes. Just three actions. It goes yes. up. You got oh, me? Oh, got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got me? So yeah. it moves back and forth. That gives you depth. Yeah. Then you turn it on. Fire. 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 Yeah. We make fire and everybody's happy. Woo. This, I'm going to tell you something. One machine breaks down, it, 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 it stops your whole operation, man. And this is the powder coat. This is the powder coat that we open the box. This is what we do all our springs. I'm opening the door so you can see it. Now watch the fans. All right. I'm gonna turn the machine on. So this is where they do all the spraying when they, when they powder coat. Yeah, this is where we powder coat. Beautiful. Beautiful. Where we do all the power tools right here. I'm gonna turn the fans on. This is the machine. This is the machine, and this is what sprays. This okay. gun right here. See this gun? Is this wide? This spray comes out this wide. Now, I'm gonna turn the fans on so you can hear it. It takes all the trash out. Okay. It's a lot of work, guys. It's a lot of, a lot of, a lot of details that go into this. So when you yeah. You about to turn it on, get the fan popping. Right, right, Lee? Details, man. I think people forget the details, though. They get, they get the finishing job, but they don't see the work that goes behind the job. Now, you see the fan? Yeah. Come over here so they can hear it. All right. So you're saying the fan takes the trash out? Out so the powder coat won't trash won't go into your bars. You see the fan? Then we come over here and we let the box. Let's see how hot the box got. Okay, but hold on. The box has got up to 150. You see that? Yeah. It, 
this up to 384 degrees. So therefore, I'm turning inside the box. You see, one of the eyes went out. Oh, I see the eyes coming on. Yeah, yeah you can feel the heat. One of the eyes went out. All three, all four of them work, but one went out. They go out like once every three months. Yeah, you gotta replace them. Because the heat, you have to replace them because the heat, the heat, they just clam so fast. Should I was clamming? Yeah. It fell because we opened the door. Yeah. Yeah. That's my wife. Oh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're like, what's in the door, big bro? Okay, so, no, oh, so, yeah, he's mean and vicious. <laughs> he's mean and vicious, man. Where you come from, bro? Where you go? Well, originally New York. Oh, he got the bars here. This is the bars here, man. Here's the bar right here, baby. This is, this is him. In, in the bar. This is the yeah, car code. You had to bake it for one hour and let it cool for 30 minutes. It's not a spray. It's a powder coat. Now this is chrome. And what we mean by that, we double brass it. Okay. See this here, you got two brasses on there. Some guys don't want brass, but they won't shine like water. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? This is you here, sir? Oh, this looks good. Thank you, sir. You ready to go? Ooh, feel that weight right there. All you have to do is just mount it down. I'm glad you gave me a chance. Here go, to, here go 21 inch down the road. Yeah, this is 21s. This is 21s right here. This is 21s. Yep, yeah, these are the 21s. Oh, the 21s is no joke. Yeah. See, yeah, the 21s look good. See? These are 21s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, ye
All right, there you go, baby. Lee gave me the full rundown of where he works. He gave the whole concept of all the, all the machines he has. Yo, I'm excited, man. I love to connect with people like this. I'm gonna encourage y'all, when you're looking for some custom bars, connect with Lee. The quality in this bar, it, it's crazy. It's gonna add a lot of spice to the bike. It's gonna make the bike feel, feel completely different. It's gonna look completely different. I can't wait for y'all to see the install. All right, guys, so what I'm doing right now is I'm ordering the cable. I have to get the clutch line, I have to get the brake line for the ABS, and I have to get the harness, the electrical harness, the extension. So I'm on the phone with California Harley Davidson right now. While I'm out here in California, I figured I'd just pick it up because I don't know if my home base Harley might have it. But you know, California, you're in the, you're in the, you're in the, the hub of everything. The holy grail of Harley Davidson is in California. So he said, um, He's gonna check if they got it, come back, give me the price. So we'll keep the fingers crossed, and hopefully they got it. I'm pretty sure it's gonna cost a couple of hundred dollars, but you know what? I'm gonna install it all by myself so I don't have to worry about the install. I never did any brake stuff before, but just for me studying things and looking at videos on YouTube, that alone is gonna help me to get it to be precise and do what I gotta do, you know what I'm saying? So let's see, I'll wait for him to come in. All right, thank you for your patience. Check it out. I got everything right here. Um, oh, uh, do you need brake fluid? I'm not. I'm not sure if I'm gonna need brake fluid, but I, I think I will because I'm gonna have to bleed it out, right? Oh no, I mean you don't already have any brake fluid. That's what I was asking. I should have asked that. You don't. So yeah, you're definitely gonna need it. I was just asking if you already had any. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, so I would need brake fluid then because I don't have any. All right, very good. So, all right, so I got a bottle of brake fluid at uh, 835. You're looking at the wiring for 63 bucks. Uh, the brake line goes for $84. The clutch cable extension goes for 115. And then the polyurethane riser bushings are 53.95. No, 52.95. Now, the polyurethane bushings, you already know about the bushings, right? No, nah, tell me about the bushings, because I installed I installed a factory 47, 14-inch um, bars on my bike, so I, I didn't have to use any bushings. So tell me about the bushings. Okay, so check it out. Essentially, I mean, this is what we're talking physics, right? So whenever you're putting more of a lever, when you're putting more leverage on a point, like you're gonna, it's going to become a lot weaker. And the stock bars are only 8 inches, so they have like little rubber bushings. But, like when you're going up to 18, you're gonna have a lot more leverage on that bar, yeah. and it's gonna put a lot more stress on that weight point. So they switch out the rubber bushings for polyurethane. Okay. And that's, so whenever they go higher than 14, essentially, that's what we recommend. Okay. Oh, doggy. <laughs> you saw a doggy. Um, <laughs> well, no, so this little, this little, I think it's a little Pomeranian thingy <laughs> to showed up the shop. He's a cute little fuzzy guy. Aww. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so, yeah, sorry about that. Uh, yeah, so we do. Have, this is the punch we have for you, though, and they come out to three fifty three eighty five. Oh, that's tax. that's perfect. How um, what time are you guys closing? Well, today we're actually open. Uh, we have bike night going on tonight, so we'll be open till ten. Okay, perfect. So here's what I want to do. I want to I want to make the payment for that now, if I'm able to do that, and just come. I tell you what. Uh, it's. Uh, are you a customer with us already? No, I'm visiting. I'm visiting California. Okay, well, don't even worry about it. I'll put it under your name, and we'll see when you come through. Because I'm not even gonna be here. Okay. But um, wh wh what's the name for you, sir? So the name is Donovan. First name is Donovan. Donovan, no problem. All right, Donovan. Uh, yeah. So we, I will have this in a bag marked Donovan for you, and uh, it, it will all be safe for you. You don't have to worry about losing your place or nothing. All right, I appreciate it. So I'll, I'll come, I'll come get it. And it's bike night tonight. That's good. I'll be able to get, yeah. I'll be able to get some footage there from a vlog. That's perfect. Oh yeah, there's food, there's all kinds of shit all over the place. This will be great. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Hey, I appreciate you, bro. Hey, no problem at all, man. Likewise. We'll see you soon. All right. Later. Bye-bye. Later.
Bike night, baby. Who would have thought? Bike night. You guys want to get to see some footage of bike night. I, I had no idea it was going to have bike night here. I'm smiling from ear to ear. My wife, she could take forever now because I'm going to make sure she stays forever. I've been sitting in this car since like last week. My beard grew. You know what I'm saying? Waiting for her to get her fashion stuff. So now she's going to have to sit there. And, no, wait a minute. She's not going to sit there. She's going to walk around, look at all the eye candy and men on, on these sexy ass motorcycles. So she'd be all right. She'd be good. All right. All right. So. The, you, heard, you heard the price, three hundred and fifty plus dollars for the kit. I thought it was going to be more, especially with this ABS stuff. I thought it was going to be way more money, but it wasn't that much money. So overall, I paid, I paid six hundred bucks for the bars. I got a hundred dollar discount that that they gave me on the bars. So I paid five hundred dollars. So I paid eight fifty. I paid under a thousand dollars for the bar and all the cable extensions so in case you're wondering what pricing is right and also if you're going to get the bars from hand to bar lee you make sure that donovan green from ride fit nation sent you there ah oh, look who's coming in look what i got you hey what's this how did it go well they're closing so kind of had to rush a little bit i found some threads that were um a dollar I had to buy three of them to get them for a dollar seventy-five, not a dollar, but yeah. So I did find some of um, the deals for some of the threads. I didn't get a lot, a lot of threads, but I kind of had to hurry because everybody's closing. Now, why did she get a lot, a lot of threads? I thought she was gonna get a whole lot of stuff, even um, from the one store that she spent like a uh, two hours in. I did not. You were sleeping probably by the time I left the store. I saw when you, I saw when you, I saw when you came out and walked to the store Shut next up and door. Drink. But you did get some stuff. Yeah, I got some stuff. Yeah. Guess what, guys? Check it out. I called Harley Davidson, mm -hmm. California Harley Davidson, to get the clutch stuff. They got them for the ball. So we're going to Harley. And it's bike night tonight. It's bike night tonight. Yeah, but you don't have a bike right now. I have a truck, and I get to get some footage. I get to record a bunch of stuff and see all the bikes in California. Where is that at? California. It's no, called California Harley Davidson. <laughs> 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 so we're over here at um, California Harley's. They had a, a major bike accident over there. Not sure what happened. The bike is laid up in the middle of the street. But uh, it's looking good out here though. Inside, first time California Harley Davidson. That's what I'm talking about. They got a nice collection of bikes, all kinds of bikes, soft tails. They have touring bikes. They have I see street street glides, road glides. I see um all type man. It's beautiful. Actually nice. Alright. Oh man, I'm good, man. I'm the first time coming to this Harley Davidson. What's, what's your name? My name's Luca. Luca, what's up, brother? I had ordered some stuff from the parts department. I'm coming to pick up some clutch cables. Okay. Um, extensions for the I'm putting uh I'm putting um some 18 inches on my road glide. Oh nice, what year? Uh, 2022. Okay. As a matter of fact, this is the one Yana. This is this is how my bike looked before I did all the work on it. So I had this one. Uh -huh. see it. Oh yeah, same same pretty much the same thing. Yeah, the, the 22 standard. Yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. I took off the bars, I changed out the bars, everything on there. Nice. What else you got planned for? Man, I got a lot of stuff done. <laughs> yeah, man, bro, you don't, hey, you buy a Harley, you better go get a second job, baby. Hey, say, hey the bike is just a down payment for the parts. Come on, that's, you uh, might get on this camera with me? Yeah, man, that's All cool. right, go introduce yourself to the, to the squad. All right, know. what's up, squad? This is Luca with California Harley Davidson. All right, so are you a sales guy here? I am a sales guy here. All right, yep. so if you guys are in California, come check out Harley Davidson, come check out Luco. Right now, we're looking at the Road Glide, the one that I got from, from Falcon Fury in Georgia. But this bike is beautiful, brother. So when people come and buy bikes, right? Mm -hmm. What's some of the craziest questions they normally ask you? Like what's the biggest concerns and stuff like that? Biggest concerns with us being in California is how they can get a tune. Because mm. you know, a lot of uh, CA compliant, like a lot of aftermarket exhaust and air, tune, air intakes uh, can't get them in California. So that's one of their mi biggest concerns. I, I'm, I'm gonna tell you though, biggest yeah. concern in Georgia, mm -hmm. because you got to get the Screaming Eagle stuff. Yep. But right now, uh, you know, I hear, I hear the news going on that they're, they're trying to get some stuff, some, some laws passed now. I don't know how, how fast it's going to happen, yeah. but you know, we'll see. We'll All see. Right. How long have you been here? I've been here about a year and a half. Okay. Year you loving it? Now. I love it here. Oh man, I, I love it. I love it. I love it. It's a bad bike, man. Oh yeah. I man. love that bike. 
I came in on a road glide, man. I said, I'm getting that bike right away. <laughs> <laughs> that's, the, that's the bike to get, For man. real. You can't do much better than that. For real, man. Honestly. Hey, thank you, bro. Hey, yeah, man. I appreciate Enjoy you. Stay, man. Thank you. Been going all right? <laughs> See, this going all right. I spoke to, um, I forgot the guy's name, but they left the, oh, right there, right there. The, all the cable, the, yeah, yes, yeah, sir. Oh, look at that, right there. Let's see that. Bam, look at that. Hopefully my car don't get declined after my son robbed me. <laughs> now I can't wait to get back home to install that bar. I don't think I'm going to the wedding. You wanna leave tonight? I look at the length. So this is the this is the this is the clutch. Nope. The extension room. Nope. Now remember I had a I had a four inch extension for the for the uh, 14 inch bars. And look at the difference how long this thing is right here. For the 18. For the brake. Uh, uh, um phone number is four zero four. That's it. The day is officially done. We're gonna go and eat at Veggie Grills up in Spectrum. I'm hungry. Yeah, me too. Well, I'm not really hungry, I ain't gonna lie. I don't know why I'm not hungry, but I'm excited. I got... All right, so I got the... Uh, I can't remember what I got. Oh yeah. And the handlebars, feel good. Bike night at California Harley. Great stuff, great, 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 great connection of people. So the fortunate that a bike had to get crashed in like that. The way that it happened, that was terrible. It's terrible, but I'm, you know, imagine if that was somebody else walking, a person, a pedestrian walking. People just don't know how to slow down, man. We have to slow down. We have to slow down and stop driving like so, it's like crazy. To all my people who are motorists, slow it down. Coelho Suave, man, Coelho Suave. Guys. Pay attention as we're crossing, as we're crossing the street. Yeah. All right, guys, subscribe. Leave it, leave it, uh, the comments, share the videos. Tomorrow's the wedding. And uh, then after that, we hit the road back again to Georgia. On the road again. And then, and then you, you'll see some of the wedding stuff, but after that, you know what's happening, right? It's gonna come to the install of the handlebars. Let's go. No, but we have one more burger coming, right? Is there one more? Oh, you got money. So I got this. I didn't get the kids' burger. I got the adult burger today. It's the veggie burger because we're at Veggie Girl today. And then I got some fries and he added some ketchup. Oh, that's side. awesome. That's good. That's good. That's good. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, there's, a, there's a burger coming up for you. Okay. Oh, I appreciate that. Do a funny face. Thank, thank you so you. much. Man. Yo, they hooked us up. Birthday. He ain't giving on an extra burger because it's his birthday. He gives us an extra burger because he messed up royally. That's why he gave an extra burger. Plus, it's her birthday. It's my birthday. It's my birthday, okay? <laughs> what you got, little girl? Same thing? Uh, yes, but for a kid's money. Ooh, that's good. And here's the deal. Just to give you the heads up, let me show you the name of the place. 
It's called veggie grill. Everything here served is all oh, vegetables. Yeah. There are no animals died here. None. It's all veggies. The cheese, the burgers, everything. Look at that. That is a meatless burger. Mm-hmm. All meatless. You see what I'm saying? How does that taste, Dorian? Good. Yeah, he can't even talk. <laughs> so good. If you never tried veggie grill, give it a shot. I don't know where you live at, but here in California, it's massive out here. There's a lot of lots of veggie grills out here. I don't know where else you might have it, but you know, you find them. So sorry, I was eating a fry. They don't have them on the East Coast that I recall. However, Wall, um, Whole Foods and some of the other supermarkets have them. They're called Beyond Burger. It's the best meatless burger on the planet. You don't even realize that you're not eating meat. Beyond Burger. They sell them two patties in the pack or they sell the four patties in the pack. Beyond Burger. Mm. Yeah, that's dope. Yep, Beyond Burger, we love it. So give it a shot. Sometimes you don't want to consume all that, that flesh from the animals. You just go plant-based for a bit. Your body will thank you. Your spirit will thank you. The animals will thank you. All of that. The planet will thank you. Everything will thank you. All right, so let's go. All right, now that's the official wrap. What do I want you to do on the channel? Subscribe. Leave a comment. Please share the videos. Let me know what you thought about the videos and how things are going so far because your feedback means a lot, a lot more to me than you know. I'm out.